industrious little fellows. <laughs> <laughs> That's got him on side. Well yeah. done. Well, it's not like we've ever upset anyone. I know. <laughs> well, there was the vicar whose tree I rammed in the Toyota pickup truck. Yeah, and everyone in Wales, and everyone in Birmingham, and everyone in America. Yep. Uh, now, it's unlikely to be here because uh, everyone does five. It's not going to be here because everyone's on drugs. That's all just full of ox. Uh, Al Gore says that's gone, so it's not going to be down there. That's full of spiders. Signposts here are all full of gibberish. They're all communists. Can't yep. go there because the Americans will shoot you. No! Yes. no what? Thank you. All right. All Sadly, though, this was also too much for the US government. I just wanted to make sure that uh, you guys are doing the documentary. Oh, it is a documentary. It's not a like a fooling around show. No, it's a serious show. Jeremy's sincerity wasn't convincing, and his hand gestures didn't help either. Shut up, you goddamn Frenchy cheese-eating surrender monkey. Yep. So if you're watching this in Saudi Arabia, <laughs> <laughs> time to break out your camel. <laughs> it's back to carpets for you. <laughs> because I own a motorbike after that, Jeremy. Oh, did you? Yeah, a motor because he... I didn't yeah. know you were homosexual. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Most of my songs are about you. <laughs> Can I just say... What? You look like a gay cowboy and you look like a gay terrorist. No, okay. you look like a terrorist with a broken windscreen wiper and your face is ridiculous. We should do a car that's quintessentially German. Well, just replace the spoons with little sausages in No, clips. no. <laughs> Give it trafficators that go like that. <laughs> <laughs> a sat-nav that only goes to Poland. Oh! I'm fine the fan belts have been lost for a thousand years! <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I just thought it would be nice for them to arrive back in the country the way their ancestors yeah, left. There's a pleasing circularity to this. Exactly. That is exactly. thoughtful. Why Sorry. would you want a Mexican car? Because cars reflect national characteristics, don't they? So German cars are sort of very well built and ruthlessly yeah. efficient. Italian cars are a bit flamboyant and quick. Mexican cars just going to be a lazy, feckless, flatulent <laughs> open. <laughs> Leaning against a fence asleep, looking at a cactus with a blanket with a hole in the middle on as a coat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's interesting, because they, they can't do food, the Mexicans, can they? Because it's all, like, sick with cheese on it. I mean, <laughs> refried sick. Yeah, refried sick. I'm sorry, but just imagine waking up and remembering your Mexican. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant, because you, you could just go straight back to sleep again. Oh, I'm a Mexican. I'm oh, I'm going to oh, oh, do all day. That's why we're not going to get any complaints about this, because the Mexican embassy, <laughs> the ambassador's going to be sitting there with a remote control like this. <laughs> <laughs> they won't complain. Because this is a hard job, and I'm not just saying this to win favour with lorry drivers. It's a hard job. Change gear, change gear, change gear, check your mirrors, murder a prostitute, change gear, change gear, murder, check your... That's a lot of effort in a day. That is a proud moment. But there's a slope on it. Yeah, right. It's definitely higher on that side. If you're thinking of coming to America, this is what it's like. You've got your comfort in, you've got your best Western, you've got your red lobster where you eat. Everybody's very fat, everybody's very stupid, and everybody's very rude. It's not the holiday programme, it's the truth. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Windy squeals, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Tallest race on Earth now, the Dutch. Officially. Mind you, they do take a lot of drugs. That's why they like Top Gear so much. Hello, Dutchie. Bentley is owned by VW. Yeah. That car was styled by a Belgian, and it was engineered by a man called Ulrich Eichhorn. <laughs> Doesn't sound very British. Are you presenting it? Top Gear, or are you writing a letter to the Daily Telegraph? Well, I'm just saying that you know immediately that that car is German, because it's got too much power. They've overdone it, as usual, like they did on their French holiday in 1939. 
James the Queen is German, but yes. you don't say Deutschland, Deutschland Uber Alleys every time she comes on the television, do you? Well, I do, actually. Yeah, he yes. does. <laughs> they've nicked our airports, they've nicked all our fish, they've nicked all our building societies, they eat the heads off prawns, they throw donkeys <laughs> off tower blocks, and they stab cows. <laughs> so that's the Spanish. That is the Spanish. <laughs> Anybody from Spain here? Sorry. Give me my fish back. <laughs> I changed from first to third on my pre-selection gearbox, which means technically I short-shifted. When I say short, I don't mean that. Yeah. Like a, I'm not being rude. Yeah. You sorry. keep saying the short. No, no, yeah. I meant I short-shifted. I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't being clever. Left turn coming up in a hairpin. You're just telling me things you can see out the window now. You've got a cushion. Meanwhile, back in PC world, I didn't mean. Jeremy's car was rubbish because it's a midget. I just meant that's what it is. It's a, it's a, an MG midget. It, I'm sorry. It was, <laughs> honestly, things I'd rather do than drive one of those include presenting next week's show while gently cupping James's scrotum. <laughs> and we're, we're off the air in Korea. Yeah, goodbye, industrious little oh. fellows. Um, oh, give me a minute. I'm going to have trouble shifting that vision now. That's... <laughs>